Hugo is our 19 year old greater one horned rhino and he was starting to have problems with his vision. So the lenses in both his eyes were starting to become milky and he didn't see that much anymore. So he was starting to walk into logs in his enclosure and other structures. At Whipsnake Zoo, we have never done cataract operation in this species before. So we got a specialist in and then we planned for the general anaesthetic. To anaesthetize a rhino, we have to use drugs that are very harmful to people. The amount of drug that we've used for Hugo would kill up to 12 to maybe 14 people. Because we inject the rhino with a dangerous drug at high speed, there is a chance that some of the drug is on the skin and there's also some of the drug will be in the bodily fluids of the rhino. So we have to be very careful throughout the procedure when handling him. Everyone has to wear gloves and we keep our eye on everyone to make sure they don't touch their faces. Hugo fell asleep on his right hand side and that was actually the side that we needed to approach because that was the eye that we wanted to treat. So in order to move him, we had to have every single keeper on board to actually pull him out of the corner that he'd wedged himself in and roll him onto his left hand side. Once we've done that, we had to move him to the center of the enclosure so that we could reach him from all sides safely and we had to lift the head significantly as well to get near her microscope. To make sure that the eye would stay in place the eye expert first put several sutures around the tissues of the eye to anchor them at various points and that way the eye couldn't move while she made the incision and I had to make sure that the rhino was asleep enough all the time so that it didn't blink because if he would blink he would break the sutures. And then when he was in position the eye specialist through her microscope she then made a tiny little slit in his eye and she pulverized the lens that had gone all milky and then take the little lens capsule out. These procedures are always a huge team method. I keep my eye on certain aspects of the anesthetic. They monitor the heart rate, the respiratory rate, and especially the body temperature, which is really important during anesthetic. We don't want him to overheat and we also don't want to get him too cold. There was all the keepers. Some had to hold the ear to make sure that the the drip that we were giving to keep him asleep was straight all the time. Others had to make sure that the muscles were massaged to keep the circulation going in these big muscle masses so he could stand up again properly afterwards. It's sometimes really hard to get the heavy animal back on its feet again because they've got like tingling numb limbs. We massage the legs throughout and also shake the legs. So we put ropes around their legs and lift them up and shake them to get a bit of circulation going during the procedure and especially straight after so that once we give the drugs that counteract the sleepiness, he's able to put his feet under him and lift himself off. So now in his right eye, Hugo has got sight again. The light can fall through the pupil again into the eye and he's now able to see again. So he won't walk into obstacles anymore. Since the operation, he recovered really well and it's been really successful. We're all elated about it and I'm sure Hugo is too.